everybody this is Tina hope you're doing well today I have a little flip through uh, for you I had, did not get to post my other video that I wanted to but I do think that I have most of my um, uploading issues kind of sort of worked out so I think I can get back on a regular schedule uh, probably starting next week so Hopefully that'll happen. Uh, I, for those of you who don't know that uh, my regular watchers, I had some real issues with my internet and um, it's taken like two to three days just to upload one video. So I you know, have not been able to post that many videos just because of the uh, effort involved in just trying to upload them. So anyway, uh, I am going to try and get back on a, a somewhat regular schedule. I can't tell you which days I'm going to put videos out there. Uh, the best thing to do is subscribe and hit the notification bell and then you'll know uh, that I have uploaded a video because I'm not on any kind of regular schedule. And every time I try and do that I always fall way short and I'm, so I'm just not going to do that. I'm just going to put videos out there when I can. I've got over 400 other videos out there in case you're interested. Tons and tons of tutorials uh, that are still valid today. You know, they're the same process is still the same. So uh, you may want to look at my playlist and see if there's things that interest you there. But in the meantime, I have a flip through of this journal and it is uh, I would say loosely uh, themed as a French, a shabby French journal, and that's what I'm going to call it probably, it's just shabby French journal. It is a tall journal, um, probably, well, I don't know, let's see, I, I don't know exactly. They're usually all about the same, but, uh, you know, if you don't count all the ruffles on the ends, it's probably... 11 and a half inches by oh I would say yeah probably five inches with a, about a one and a half inch spine it has uh, let's see what did I decide about a hundred pages approximately in it so it's a pretty chunky journal and it is absolutely stuffed. I mean stuff, stuff, stuffed. I don't I don't think I could fit one more thing in there. You could take 80% of this out and it would not be. I, I always do this to my journals. I I don't know, I just I always feel like I just want to make sure people feel like when they get one of my journals that they that they feel like they got some value, you know, with it. So you know, I don't know. But anyway, I don't know why my Eiffel Tower will not. Okay, there we go. This is just uh, some jewelry that I put on here. This is part of a bracelet right there. And it just dangles with this Eiffel Tower. That was like a little necklace thing. Here's a little uh, pendant that I made of this lady and a little key and it's just wrapped around a little tie. The cover is made with uh, a vintage quilt that I had and I actually had to piece it to make to have a piece long enough to put on here so I went ahead and put some lace over where I pieced it and it's actually uh, just it's quilted together so I sewed that together then put the lace on it. This is not attached. This is a, uh, a vintage, uh, I would guess it's a, a considered like a doily, you know, but it's all hand crocheted, not crocheted, uh, whatever it is, embroidered. There we go, that's the word. All the way around, it's got pink and blue in it. This has a lot of pink and blue more pink than blue, but uh, that is pretty much it. It's hard to get the whole thing in there. The bottom has all kinds of um, stuff just, you know, coming down. It's 
find a good angle so you can see that you know just falling out of the, the bottom the sides are just full of all kinds of roughly lace and trim so let me just take this off and this is a chiffon bow uh, or a ribbon and you can see here's the little da dangle and it just comes right off with it it's got a little round little ring here that you can just uh, you know take it off you can make a necklace out of it you could do not have it on there at all but anyway this just ties off and this comes off so this is basically all this really is is a tie but I just kind of made it I don't know what that chiffon shed so I've got a piece of string from it but anyway it is I just put some ribbon on the inside I sewed this this is sewed on the ends here and in here um, and I just covered it with this and that's the outside of it and it's been sewed in there and that's just a just like a little covering that goes on there just to fancy it up a little bit I was just going to put a tie on there and I thought well now I'll make it I'll jazz it up a little so anyway now you can kind of see the cover and you can see I pieced it here this is not pieced but I just felt like it needed something in the middle that is there and then this is some uh, antique ribbon on the top and on the bottom and that's my last of it I think I have a piece about this big left now it's really pretty uh, on the on the uh, spine I put five antique buttons mother of pearl buttons and there's just some antique trim here there's a lot of antique and vintage lace and trim in this I used a ton and here it is without the tie on it it is like I said it is absolutely stuffed and it's not just stuffed with ephemera there's lots of lace and trim and all kinds of goodies in it so let's just get to it the majority of the papers I use in this are raindrop uh, Lila and it's uh, multiple kits of hers and then um, some my porch prints and there may be a few little others scattered here and there but I probably won't remember who they're from because I when I make some of these journals I I take things that I have and th and there's some things I've made already that I put in and if I can remember great but sometimes I can't but majority of the papers are raindrop lila and then um um, some my porch prints mainly the it's ephemera in the my porch prints I she has such pretty pink ephemera that I have a ton of it and I use it in these journals when I do a lot of pink so here is the inside and I this is a crocheted part of a crocheted I guess it was like a table you know like a thing you put in the middle of the table and here's part of it and the way that it hangs on the bottom so hard to show this is it's not it's like shorter here and longer in the back so it kind of drips down there's all these little drippy things that's intentional okay I don't want anybody to think that I you know oh she did it crooked um, anyway this is the pocket that I made with that and then um, I just put this applique right here and there's some pink lace behind it it's very light blush pink lace so you can barely see it and then I have uh, this trim here which is similar to what's over here and I put this other trim it, there's layers and then I put this pretty pink uh, applique ribbon right there and this is the quilting on the outside and then I lined it with this pink material uh, cotton material so you've got this pink cotton on the inside and let's see in the beginning let's see this is a uh, a mixed media uh, envelope that I made it's got all kinds of mixed media flower uh, pink flowers and then a uh, what do you call it seal and it's just got a couple of little journaling cards in it so 
This thing is absolutely stuffed and very decorated, but there's still a ton of journaling uh, space in here between the pages and all of the ephemera. And then this was a raindrop lila, and I just put a little bit. I used a lot of rusted staples and rusted things in here because I, I just like to. This, I don't remember who this was from. See, that's what I'm talking about. This is somebody else's uh, vintage uh, uh, French, uh, what do you call them, postcards. <laughs> I have no words today. So this is an envelope here that I just put this little teapot as a closer, a closure. And then this really pretty journaling card. And that just goes like this. So that all just stuffs right in front. Or you can put it, that's like I said, you could take it out and put it in when you want to put it in. You could um, take, you could probably take 50% of this out and do a whole nother journal because there's so much stuff in it. Okay, so then this page is covered in this beautiful blush uh, vintage lace, but it is also a pocket. So, and then here is another, the uh, French uh, postcard. And here's a page right here. And there is tons of uh, French uh, antique papers in here that I've just put in, you know, intermixed in here. And then here is a pocket with some pretty French lace on there and two little cards and that just goes right in there this is just a, a page from the raindrop lila and they're all french related uh you know i don't know that it's necessarily a theme a french theme but it's all french so i guess that's the that's the theme and there's a little French rabbit and a card. And this is just some coffee dyed paper that I put in there. And then there's some more of hers. And here's some antique lace and trim that's on the side. Here is another French page. I think this is a vocabulary book in, in French. So, and then here's this cute little envelope. And I did, I think I put something in everything. Yeah, there's just a couple little journaling cards in there. And there's this pretty card here. This is uh, another journaling card here for tag. And that just fits in this little pocket right here that I made. There's a lot of lace um, pockets. And, um, excuse me, my allergies are killing me today. Um, a lot of lace pockets and uh, things like that in here and, and side tucks and things. So this is some um, antique music paper. Little envelope, I made a little pocket at the end of it and there's a couple of little journaling things in there. So that just tucks right there. Here is another one of those uh, postcards and this is just some vintage lace right there. This is some Edith Holden. That's a pretty page, isn't it? <coughs> Excuse me, like I said, my allergies are... I don't know what they said the pollen count was, but it was ridiculously high. Here's another, the vintage French postcards with some, this is gorgeous lace right here. It kind of looks like it's white, but it's actually a very, very light pink. And this is antique lace there. Um, with this beautiful page. So you can write on all these pages. I tried to put, you know, as many pages as I could that you could write on in it. And here's another French postcard. And this is a blush pink uh, paper that I put in there. There's another one of her papers. Um, <clears throat> oops. Here's just a little tuck spot that I made with this beautiful trim. 
And here's another, that's a raindrop lila. This is another uh, antique French uh, page. I don't remember what that book was from. A beautiful picture here on a page. It's another beautiful page, another postcard. It's the other side of that blush pink. Here is another journaling card that I made with this beautiful pocket with this. I love this pink. I don't hardly any of this left. I have very little. And I don't know. I got that in a lot. I don't know. See, the thing is about a lot of these little antique laces and trims and vintage ones, you know, once they're gone, they're gone. You can't go out and buy them. <clears throat> so this is another beautiful page. That's a half of an Edith Holden. Another pretty page there. This is some gorgeous lace and trim right there. It's a really pretty pink. <clears throat> I'm, al I'm almost out of that too. So here is just a little kind of journaling card that I made for you to journal in and that was just made with some uh, scrapbook paper I think. And here is some pink paper that I put in there. It's a little grungier. This is some antique lace that I made a little pocket out of, and then I made this little flip book thing. And it just has different papers in it, so you can write on it. And one of those little, I forgot which, prong fasteners that I, that I rusted that I put in there. Here's another page. This is just a little um, pocket that I made with the paper bag. Uh, you know, the collage. This is a sample picture in there and a sample stamp. And this is just one of Rain Raindrop Lila's journaling cards and it fits right in here. And this is attached to one of the French pages. So it just sits, sits kind of in between these two pages. Another one of uh, the Raindrop Lila pages. This is a little thing that I made on my channel with a little flippy corner thing. And it, what it does is it, it uh, flips up so you can write like a secret message. And there's a magnet behind that so it stays shut. And then here's another little journaling card. And then you've got this tuck spot right there. So <clears throat> here is uh, an, another music Antique. These are antique pages too. And anything that was really old or I felt was fragile, I did reinforce it with washi tape, but you do realize that a lot of these are over, they're over 100 years old. When I say they're an antique, they are. I only use the ones that are in pretty good shape, but they're still old. So when you flip through them, that you know, there could be some cracking and things like that. I don't put pages in like that, but they can get that way because they're so old. Here's a another journaling card and then here is just a little envelope and there is a journaling card in there that just goes like that this just fits right in here that goes right there another really pretty page and this is the middle isn't that pretty? That's such a pretty, pretty, pretty uh, picture. And then in the middle, I on the strings, I put these little beads and they're both uh, pink. There's pink pearl and then a pink, I don't know what it is, that is some sort of a gem. And I put those in there and there's the other side. Oh, there's nothing in that one. Hmm. Well, there's a pocket right there. You could put something in there. I may go back and do that or I'll just move something from somewhere else. Here, I'll just move this. How about that? I will just move that. So that'll go in there. That is just a, um, open it up, a journaling card with this really cute, cute envelope. There's just so many places to tuck things in and write and have all these secret spots. I'm just going to put that there. Another pretty page. Here's the other side. Here's another one of those little flippy things. 
I don't really know what to call. Maybe a corner flip. Sometimes they're hard to get apart through those magnets. They're little teeny tiny magnets, but they're really strong. So you can write a little note in there. And then, of course, again, it just, you've got this tuck spot in there. I hope this isn't glued in there. Oh, really? Maybe I did glue it in there. I don't think so. Pretty sure I put it in there when it was all. I'm going to deal with that later, guys. There's something going on. Because I don't think it's glued in there. It might be. I may have to leave it in there. <laughs> I'll, to, I'll work on it in a little bit. And here's another uh, page. French page. Another journaling card. This is some beautiful uh, vintage lace here. Or trim. I don't know what you really call this, but it's, you know, eyelet. But it's all old. It's older. So... Here's another beautiful page. Here's that pink page. Here, this is a different aisle. I don't have much of that either. So, and there's some pretty antique lace on the bottom of that. So with that page, there's the other part of the Edith Holden. This is some really pretty trim right here that's just on the edge. Isn't that pretty? And all of these just hang down off the side. Another page. Here is a, another pink page. It's a very light pink. And here's a journaling card. This has several in it. This has a, um, this is like really just a bookmark. And then you have, this is a em, embossed uh, handmade paper with this rose on it. And then a little up here and it's got just a bunch of little things in it so with this really pretty this was part of a tablecloth I think at one time I don't even whenever I get these if, if I get them in a um, resale shop or something I don't even like to tell the people that I'm gonna cut them up because they just give me looks you know I don't like to <laughs> I don't tell them are you gonna put that on a table uh, I don't, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> so that's what I usually do. I'm not going to lie and tell them no, but I mean, yes. Anyway, so here is another little French card. Here is a uh, journaling card with this really pretty uh, blush pink pocket, lace pocket. Here is uh, the other side of that. Here is it. Edith Holden. And this is a belly band made with, this is a vintage uh, lace and trim there. This is another uh, kind of a mixed media little, this is with a glassing back, so it has that nice crunchy sound to it. And it is some journaling cards in there. All right. And then here is another page here. This is a beautiful card here. I put that there because I thought it looked almost the same as what's up there. And that is just tucked in the music pages. If I can get it back in there. It's not wanting to cooperate. Uh, this is a, a really pretty page with that same applique uh, that you have on the sides. But this is the ribbon that it came out of. And I, what I do is I cut those out and I put them on here. But anyway, here it is. That's what it is. And here is a journaling card. Put that in there. And that page another French page and then here's another beautiful picture this is some really soft old um, antique lace here I made a little tuck spot with that and here's some more coffee dyed paper on that page this is just a little pocket that I made with a glassine bag 
with a little doily and a butterfly and some other things. And these are just just some little journaling cards that I made to put in there that you can journal on. <clears throat> so, oh, and here's a picture of the uh, cathedral. Yeah, and here is just a really pretty lace pocket, another one of the antique pockets. You can really tell on those antique um, laces and trims are just super soft. And here's just some little journaling cards that are in there. That's the other side of that. And that just tucks in there. So this is another really pretty uh, vintage lace, pink lace in here. And this is just another one of those little flip up things that I made that you can write on the inside or the back or anywhere. And it just fits right there. And then here's the last page. Of course, it has the applique. It's like just like the front. And it's got this uh, pink embroidered on there. Let me get all that out of there. This is just a little booklet that I made. It's got that pretty pink ribbon on it. And then it's got a bunch of pages in there, just of um, vintage books and things like that. So, of course, you know, you could put that in your purse and jot things down and then put it in your journal later or, or do like me, have a little book. I have a little book with all my passwords in it. So, which, if I didn't have that thing, I don't know where I'd be. All right, and here is another one of those uh, postcards. Here is an envelope. And I, did, I don't remember what I did on a lot of this, so here are some journaling cards that go in there. It's a really pretty envelope, too. Alright, shut that. I don't know why it won't shut. There we go. And then here's another envelope. So there's lots of places that you can tuck things with the postcard and another little postcard. So you can journal on that. And that gets tucked into this little butterfly here. There we go. And then this little journaling card. And that is it, folks. That is my. I don't know, what did I say I was going to call it? Shabby French Journal. Shabby, pink, I don't know. Something shabby, pink French Journal. I don't know. Something like that. There's only one journal going to be listed in my Etsy shop because that's all I have. I have a lot of things from my other channel that I've made that are in there, but uh, I don't know. I just can't seem to get my act together and get my other journals finished, so... I will try my best. Anyway, that is it. Isn't that beautiful? Look at all that. As I said, you can take 80% of the stuff out of that, and it is not, you know, overly, overly uh, filled. I mean, as far as, you know, having a gator mouth. But it has a gator mouth because of all the stuff I have in it, not because, you know, I've over decorated it to that point. So whether it's a gator mouth or not, it's totally up to you because you can certainly take the stuff out and just, you know, put it aside and add it when you want to. Or as I said, put it in another journal. You can put it in another journal. And I am going to put this in my Etsy shop. So if it's not there, then that means it has sold because I have people asking me that whenever I have one in there and they'll, you know, it's like, if it's not there, it's sold. So, that's what happens. So, uh, you know. And it, hopefully, um, it will be in my Etsy shop when you see this video. Sometimes it's in my shop before you see the video because I was having so much trouble getting my videos up. So, 
I just thought that all looked pretty there. Just to, you know, I wanted to put something on the front. I, I just really, on these tall journals, I have the hardest time decorating them because you can't put something small right in the middle and you know, I don't know. I think this looks okay, but. All right, anyway, I do not know when I will have another video out. Um, hopefully I'll have one out this weekend. Um, I don't know when, Saturday or Sunday. And um, it'll be a process video because I'm not doing any other, well, I am doing some other journals, but it'll be something involved with those other journals, you know, doing something with them. So I will see you guys again soon and everyone take care and I hope you have a great day and I hope this video gets up. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I don't want to jinx it because I did another video on my other channel and it went right up. I was in shock in shock. I think it posted within 30 minutes. And so I'm, I don't want to jinx this, but I'm hoping that it goes up and y'all can see this. Uh, so you take care and I will see y'all soon. And uh, that's it. All right. Bye-bye.